certainly the, the strength with the acceleration, obviously. Um, and um, <clears throat> it um, looks obviously wonderful. Handling was, was really good. But at the end of the day, surprisingly, the, 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 because it was designed as an interceptor, it actually worked really well as a dogfighter. And, mm. and, and that was surprising because it was never intended that way. Um, it was just that the Israelis had done such a good job with it, and then everyone wanted one. But when we came to dogfights, um, if you flew the aircraft correctly, it was, and, and I think one of your other I was talk, guys talked about it, because you always want to generate this overshoot. Mm-hmm. And with that drag from that from that um, delta, as long as you didn't have a bleed off too much, you got with it. You couldn't slow down. My first kill was against an F1. We were up oh. in a two versus one. Yes. <laughs> up against a two versus one. And now we weren't allowed to go below 180 knots because once the aircraft, if you did an incipient or a spin or a stall, you virtually had to eject because it took so long to come. It would come out, but it took so long. So we weren't allowed to fly below 180 knots in a fight. But the F1 could go down to 125. So I thought, oh, where are we done now? You know, because you had flaps and all sorts of things. The Minerals 3 c has got nothing. It's just got a wing and controls. No flaps, forward slats, which is 2000 air. Anyway, we went into this fight, and I was and uh, I, the bogey was this F1, and I was on the on the starboard side, and the, my lead called me, so we got a bogey in your six o'clock, break right, so I broke right, and almost immediately he slid high. He said, "You can reverse," and he, this chap couldn't slow down. I pulled into a break, unloaded, and he said, "Reverse, I reverse." And there he was, my first killer. He was also new in the aircraft, but wow. if, if you had it correctly. And I went up with, with good fighter pilots. I think I might have mentioned one of the things, Dick Lord, and he's been mentioned in your program as well. Yes, yes. He is amazing, bloke. Yeah, and he, he, when I first went to the squad, we had a while before we flew, and he was going up on a two versus one. And I asked him if I could jump in the back seat, and he was a bogey. And wow. oh, amazing, absolutely That's amazing. amazing. Not, well, a bogey should never win the fight. It should be maybe a stalemate, but never a win. He just took him out three times in a row. But that's sort of flying. And going up with those guys, I went up with another chap. And you had to, be, to fly the Mirage really well to turn, you had to use a lot of, to keep it really smooth and use a little bit of rubber. Because as soon as you started using the controls, these great big barn doors would come out and there would be a, that much more drag. Mm-hmm. But it was at that stage I started doing ACM and it became a passion of mine since then. I've started, I've probably talked about the, the virtual reality. Uh, I'll do it in F-16s now and that sort of thing. But that's yeah, where yeah. it started on, on the Mirage. It was, it, it was a great airplane to fight on. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard like uh, from a few people, the Mirage guys and stuff like that, saying it's an absolutely incredible aircraft. Probably isn't a, a, a complete pilot thing, but it needed a bigger engine. Is that true? Not necessarily with the CZ. Uh, the EZ, I think, certainly needed one. If we had a dogfight uh, with, with the, the, they had one called the RZ, which is a reconnaissance model, there was also an EZ. But th- th- there was no contest, basically, um, between, uh, because, it was the, that engine was built for that aircraft. After that, they just sort of, as they do with the aircraft, they start putting stuff on, and they never actually keep up with the engines as the rule. But that particular aircraft, as far as I'm concerned, it, did, it, it was it was it did well. It, you know, it, it was. The, I think the power ratio weight ratio was very good, mm-hmm. and on the CZ, that's why I was keen to talk about the CZ because that was, that's sort of our baby. Yeah, we just like to mention as well about the Mirage, Gior, Gior, um Epstein. He's got 17 kills. Um, he's probably the, the, on jets. No one will ever overtake that, I don't think. Mm-hmm. And I heard an interview of his once where he said he flew the the, the Nesha, which was the, the, the Mirage 3C, or 3, it was a ground attack aircraft, I think. Well, obviously, also, also air to air. But it wasn't the Kefir, it was the original 3, Mirage 3 that they built. And he flew the F-16. And the, the, the interviewer asked him and said, which one did you actually prefer flying? Now, I always want to fly them sticking, and there's one that sits on my table here. That was my <laughs> love. I wanted, I loved, when I first saw it, I wanted to fly one of those. And he sat there and he thought about it for a while, and he said, actually, the Mirage. And I thought, that's a surprise. He said, because I'm actually flying that aircraft. No one else. Mm. He says, and you've got the stick over here, you just wanted the inputs. And he said, he felt that. And so there was, after that, I actually thought, no, I've done it right now. I've flown the Mirage 3C. I'm quite happy. <laughs> So, like in the Mirage, you can feel the, the the feedback and everything. You can feel what yes, the jet's doing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You can fly, obviously through power controls, but it's got a it's got a very good balance feel to the whole thing. Mm-hmm. You just have to be careful. I never got in a situation. 
and, and I, uh, that I would over because you could ask me school and then the game was over and it would just depart, you know. Mm -hmm. And I never got to that's the a good one time quite close and it took a look to unload to get out of it because obviously everything happens over the top of the wing. But I went up with a chap and he actually flew to zero the speed. Oh. He went over, <laughs> yeah, he went over the top of the fight and he just let it fall. As long as you didn't do anything. It came out of it again, you know. <laughs> it was watching the games like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it was, you just had to fly it well. And and it, it, it took a, oh, I was only there for three years. And um, it probably had done another five quite happily to, to get it all under my belt. But we had a lot of fun as well, a lot of fun.